Welcome to our lecture online and here we're going to take a look at another aspect of information we can gather from the Doppler shift. And in this case it has to do with the rotation of stars. So let's say we have a star right here that we're observing and let's say that it's stationary relative to us. It may be moving up or down relative to us but we can't see that Doppler shift anyway. But it is rotating and because it's rotating the top portion of the star appears to be moving away from us and the bottom part of the star moves, appears to be moving towards us. So this part of the star is moving this way, this part of the star is moving that way. So when light emanates from that part of the star, it appears to be coming from an object that's moving away from us. So we say the object appears to be moving away, it is therefore redshifted, it has a longer wavelength. The bottom part of the star is moving towards us, it appears to be moving towards us, therefore blue shifted and therefore it appears to have a shorter wavelength. So we get longer wavelengths and shorter wavelengths of radiation from the very same object. Now of course the center of the star will show no shift at all. So what does that look like on the spectrum? Well here let's say we have the H alpha line at 656.3 nanometers, a very uh, known line by now if you've been watching the last so many videos. And what that does to this is that in some cases the light coming from us will be uh, redshifted, in some cases it will be blue shifted, it will spread the line apart, it will kind of smear the line, it will be kind of a distribution of that line, it won't be a very crisp line. And we can actually measure that smearing of that line and depends upon how much smears we can actually determine how fast the object is rotating. For example, if the object is rotating really fast, there will be a lot of smearing of that particular line. If the object is rotating slowly, it will of course be, the distribution will be uh, much narrower like this and you will not see much of a smearing. So we can actually determine the rate of rotation by studying the amount of smearing, redshifted and blue shifted from the same object. So it's a tremendous tool as well. Now of course it does depend also on how big the object is. A very uh, if it's a very slow rotating object but it's a very big object then of course the edges of the object will appear to be moving faster than at the same rate of rotation for a smaller object. So again it's not a simple equation in that respect but after you take account for the fact that it's a larger smaller star and you then watch the amount of smearing you can tell pretty accurately how fast the object is rotating. So again, the Doppler shift gives us all kinds of information about the universe that we wouldn't know without coming up with these clever techniques to figure out what the universe is doing.